back to Mega Five Stars. Hopefully you guys had a great Christmas, a wonderful Christmas. And hopefully, you know, you did the things that you wanted to do, got the things that you wanted to get. But most of all, I'm just glad that you all are back and I'm back and everybody's alive and well, hopefully. Hopefully your families are doing well. There's so much going on these days. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of my subscribers for my continued viewers. Even though I don't get the post regularly because of things that I go through, I'm just glad that you guys still come through and continue to watch and subscribe. So I thank you all for that. And I hope you all had a blessed holiday. And of course, of course, I just hope you enjoyed your loved ones and friends and family on Christmas. Um, and just enjoyed yourself all together. So guys, I've been watching some YouTube and I said, I, I'm going to come on here and talk about a couple of things. Just a few, just a few of what I've seen on YouTube. But the first one I'm going to talk about is CJ and his new girlfriend, um, Lexi. Okay. Now, first, I wasn't fond of the new relationship um, because, of course, and, you know, I, it wasn't because really of her. It was the fact that, you know, I've all, I always want to see families um, make it, you know. I always want to see families, you know go through the storm. And it's so much an eye, and I have to say this, it's so much of an eye on African-American families. And they're more looked upon when they break up and, you know, the mom become a single mom and to deal with kids on her own. And it's like, it's a given for African-American families. And I have to say this, a lot of people might feel some way because of the nationality of Lexi, but I'm just going to say this, guys. It's more or less come from the root. Um, and it's not, you know, nowadays we're getting away from that. Kudos to all Americans, regardless of the color, that we all can come together and love on one another and love each other, regardless of the race. But I'm just going to speak up for those who might have some type of feelings about Lexi's and CJ So Cool's relationship, more or less, probably because of her race. And I have to just say this. It comes from your ancestors. It's, it's in within a lot of our bloodline that we uh, that I believe we still feel some of their hate of being ripped apart, of men being ripped apart from their families. And then on top of that, they're ripped apart. And then on top of that, Caucasian uh, was raping the black woman. And some women was, uh, you know, loving on the black men. And the fact that they were taken from us, from that race, it's pretty hard for a lot of women to uh, accept uh, a Caucasian and um, occasion Caucasian more or less accept. It's more of accepting a Caucasian woman with an African American man, and it's this thing about black women think they own black men. No, it's not that. It's this thing that we're jealous of Caucasian women being with our black men. It's far from that. It's more deep that they, that black women still feel like it's that thing within us. It's, it's in that thing within some of them, some of us, that still feel the pain of the African-American man being ripped away from their family. And this is just the truth. It's still that feeling when you look and a lot of women get it, and although they might not want to admit it. And a lot of African-American women do feel it, although they might not want to admit it, although they might even try to block it out. But sometimes, and I, I must admit myself, 
when I seen sometime when this started that um, Caucasian women were, um, it became more popular with Caucasian women and dating African American men. And I'm not speaking on the African American women who's dating, who's dating a Caucasian man. I'm not speaking on that because it's not like, it's not as big to me, I haven't seen it as big. It's getting there, but it's not as big as Caucasian women dating African-American men. But it's getting there. Now, again, I'm not being prejudiced or anything like that. I'm glad race, you know, I'm glad of people coming together with different types of nationalities and uniting and everything like that. And before I get into this, before you think that I'm totally racist, or anything like that. My great great grandfather is Irish. So I'm far from that. But let me just say this we have to understand why some people, it's harder for some people to let it go than others. I mean, there's been slavery and stuff, and I don't, and I hate when I hear people going, Oh, forget about it. It was years ago. They don't have anything to do with us. You don't know what your ancestors died and lived for. You don't know the, the, the struggles that they went through. Because it's happened and it's gone and it's past and we've moved on, the pain is still there in your bloodline. Rather you want to acknowledge it or not, the pain of what your ancestors has been through is still in your bloodline. I'm sorry to tell you that, but it's the truth. So let's get down to it. When you see somebody's not really accepting uh, and African-Americans accepting biracial uh, relationships and stuff like that, try to understand them even if it's just a little bit just understand them just a not to try to under, but understand their feelings understand their feelings and take their feelings in consideration and help them through it because love is love no matter what color you're getting involved with or marrying into love is love N color shouldn't matter no it shouldn't but always understand the background, the pain, never, ever block where that pain come from. And again, I must say a lot of that pain comes from the African-American men being ripped, the, ripped away from their African-American family, wives and everything during slavery to go off and work for the Caucasian men and the Caucasian family and the Caucasian women. So understand that when an African-American look over and see yet another African-American man in their mind being ripped away from an African-American woman to be with a Caucasian woman, there is some type of animosity there. And, or, and, and just understand it's just something within that bloodline, deep in that bloodline. And a lot of young people coming up today, it might not really um, dawn on them where this feeling is coming from. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's coming from your bloodline. It's coming from the hurt and the pain that you feel in from your ancestors. I believe in strong spirits and strong um bloodlines to where you can feel different um things that your ancestors went through and i know that you can still feel that pain it's still there it's it's not buried it's still there but to get over it is a plus to get over it is a must and we all have to accept that love is love when and again we're not living in them days and ages but understand where that pain might be coming from or that hurt might be coming from. Because there's a lot of people out there that might be saying, wow, why am I like that? Why Why do I get like when I see an African-American man with an Caucasian woman that I get so upset that I get so, you know, just, um, you know, just bothered by it. And a lot of people don't know where that hurt is coming from. But I'm here to let you know where it come from. 
So just know that we're in different times and it's okay to let that pain go. It, you know, we, we will never forget, but it's okay to make that pain, to, to let that pain go. And a lot of African-American men, <laughs> more or less than the women, I have to say this, it's a lot more African-American men accepting of their biracial union than African-American women. Although African-American women are now, it's more and more coming out dating Caucasian men. It's like, I can't, guys, I just hope you understand where I'm, where I'm coming from. Cause I don't want to say anything that's going to offend anybody, but it's not because we're jealous or the African-American woman is jealous of a Caucasian woman. Come on. And it's not because we feel like they're taking all our men and we can't keep our man, men and all of that. No, it's not that. It's deeper than that. And so we all have to realize why some people are still um, having some type of animosity towards that. And... Caucasians need to understand that too. And so this video is also for, th for them too, to understand why is that pain still there? Why are there so, as some of them want to call it, that we're so possessive over our Black American men? Baby, it's more deeper than that. And now you know why. And so that's it. But that's what I want to say about that. So if you have, you know... If you don't know where that pain comes from, that's where it comes from. It doesn't come from jealousy of a, a Caucasian woman. It doesn't come from um, we think that we own our African-American men. No, it comes from slavery. All right. So now that we got off that topic, now let me get into the topic of CJ and Lexi's um, relationship. So I have to say, at first I was a little skeptical. I'm like, okay, she is young. He's like 10 years older than her, if not a little more, I don't know. And she's young. And, um, you know, I was like, uh, you know, I don't know about this relationship. You know, I was like, I don't know. And is she with him because she, cause she really wants to be with him? I, you know, I was skeptical. I was skeptical. And then, yes, it, a part of me was upset, too, because I'm like, he's leaving his family to go out with a younger woman. Um, so, yeah, I felt some type of way of him leaving uh, royalty. I did. I felt some type of way of him leaving royalty. Guys, my hair shed bad in the winter. Do anybody else hair shed bad in the winter? My hair? Woo! Child. It sheds terribly. But anyway... Guys, yeah, uh, goodness, my head is shutting bad. Um, and then I don't, I don't, uh, brush it out every day. And they say you're supposed to brush your hair out every day. I don't do it every day. I might do it every three days, which is bad. So any hair that's supposed to be falling out, like you lose hair every day has been all tied up in my hair, all braided up. So now it's all coming out when I comb it out. But guys, yeah, so um, I was upset. I was like, okay, so he left his family to go hang out, to go have freedom and fun and be with somebody young and, you know, do stuff like that. And, you know, because he feel like he still want to be young or whatever. So, yeah, I felt some type of way about it. And then I was like, well, I wonder if, you know, if she want him for the right things. Is is she with him because he's got money? I mean, would she have dated him if not? So, I was wondering, yes. I didn't know if she was using him or not. Yes. That, that was on my mind. Was this girl using him? So, apparently, no. It don't look like it. Unless she's putting on a real good game. But she is buying stuff. You know, she's buying food. She goes to the store and she's buying um, different things from the store. And she's not asking him for money or whatever. So apparently, no. He, you know, she, she's, you know, and she has her own career. 
And she is, she's a pretty girl. She's very pretty. I must say, she's very pretty. And then I was like, when I was looking at her and seeing her, I said, wow, she's mixed with something. So um, she is a very pretty girl, but I knew she was mixed with something. It wasn't like pure American, like, or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, she's, she's mixed with Italian. So I did, I said, that's why, you know, that's why she, you know, she has a different look about her. So anyway, I, uh, I wasn't too fond of her at first, you know, because he was saying that she was at first, he was saying that she was his um, assistant and things like that. And then the way she was dressing to her assistant job, I was like, Ooh, who is this woman? Like, is she really there to assist? <laughs> was she there just to get some type of money or something? But um, come to find out, they've been dating. You know, he slipped up in one video and said they've been dating, what, three months? Or uh, sooner than that? I can't remember what he said. But um, so... They was dating throughout their little thing. They, they've been dating. He, although he tried to make it look like he asked her online. But he did slip up and say they probably was dating before then or whatever. But anyway, guys, I have to say this. Lexi has grown on me. She has grown on me. She's a very nice girl. Do I want to see CJ with his um kid's mother and then work it out? Yes. I still do, but if there was some underlying issues that we don't know or we didn't see on camera and this is more healthier for him, then I say, oh, well, kudos to him. Is Lexi seem like she's a chill, loving person? Yes, I think she's a chill, loving person. She has a beautiful mom. She's cute and she's grown on me. I really like watching her and uh, their little union. I mean, it's growing on me. <laughs> I wouldn't thought it would grow on me, but it has. And Lexi is a very um, attractive, um, you know, woman. And, you know, I could see where he probably would be with her for a while. I can see that. I mean, if not forever, I don't know. But she seems to be very, uh, very educated, very uh, business um savvy and you know maybe he needs that i don't know but he looks happy he looks um vibrant and cj is a uh, handsome man he's a very handsome man so maybe this is good for him you know maybe this will work out for him who knows you know but i'm telling you at first i was like oh no <laughs> I have to admit, I was like, no, uh -uh. why would he leave his family to go run around with a young person, 10 years old, let, um, younger than him? Why would he do that to his family? You know? And uh, I don't know. You know, maybe he was just wanting a way out. Maybe he's been, you know, somebody, people, people just don't unlove a person overnight. This his feeling. This this action and the way he's feeling now. He's been to me. He's been. He has long time ago. He has been uh, falling out of love with royalty. This just this just doesn't seem like something just happened overnight. He's been uh, falling out of love with royalty for a very uh, quite a, a while. For quite a while now. So to me, this is just not something that just came about. He's been falling out of love with royalty for a while to me. And I say that because the way he's just, you know, already bringing up marriage with this girl and everything. Mm -mm. I believe they've been dating for a, more longer than we've not, we even know about. To be honest with you, I think this has been going on for a good, good while. But again, you know, she's attentive to him. She seems to want to get to know his kids. She's buying him lots of things. 
She's showing her love for him. And, you know, she's, she's showing that she cares for him. So, guys, I have to admit, it looks like uh, Lexi has grown on me. <laughs> and they're, um, when they're together, you know, she seems like she's pretty chill. And she's teaching him a lot of different things. And he's just not um, giving and not receiving. You know, he's giving, he's getting, he's receiving, and he's learning new stuff with her, too. So, I have to admit, she's grown on me. And I want, I hope royalty can find love. I really hope it's royalty's turn now to find love, guys. I really hope that for her. I really hope that she finds, she finds love now, to be honest. Because I want to see her happy. I do. I want to see her happy. And um, hopefully we'll see her happy. Hopefully we will see royalty happy. And guys, that's it. That's all I have to say about that. Comment down below if you think that, um, you know, Lexi and um, CJ is going to uh, remain together for a long time. Do you think this is going to be a long-term relationship or something just, it's just a fling? I don't know, because CJ, let me tell you about him. First of all, he gives me mixed vibes <laughs> about her. You know, he gave me mixed for At first, I was like, CJ, um, CJ is wide open for Lexi. He is wide open. Meaning that he's head over heels for he he's head over heels um falling for her, right? That's what I was um saying, right? And so now I'm like, he gives mixed vibes during the video, like, you know, when she holding him and hugging all on him and stuff, he's like, he's not like huh, oh, like, you know, like googly eye or look like he's getting any type of tingles in his body he's like still focusing on his video and you know <laughs> i'm like i don't know cj give me mixed vibes so i don't know if he gonna take to this girl for a long term or not who knows and you know when the girl when the lady was jogging uh his neighbor was jogging outside and he went to look and his daughter was like she don't have any butt cj was like oh but cj was looking trying to check the lady out that was jogging. I was like, maybe he, he was right. Maybe women do need to watch out for him because maybe he he is just somebody who's just going to be cheating all the time and wanting to be with other people. So, sure ain't good or bad. Or get out of that. I'm sorry, guys. My son running around. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to come and to, um, talk to you about that and let you know how I feel about CJ and his girlfriend. And like I said, I think it's going to be real interesting to see where they end up at. <laughs> But anyway, guys, that's the end of my video. Sorry, I had to put my hair up. I'm putting up my hair right now. So I'm sorry I had to get this done. And I said, well, let me do a quick video because I haven't done one. And I'm feeling pretty good um, today. So I said, this is the time I get, was able to get it. Because my son, as you know, is autistic. And he had me, he kept me busy today. So I ain't had time to do a video. And this was the only day I felt pretty good to do one. So I said, let me do my hair while I'm in the bathroom, while he's resting and um, get this video out. So, but guys, um, I hope you understand what I was saying. I hope I made some type of sense, <laughs> but if not, then go read your history books and find out what happened to African-American men, how they got, you know, how they became slaves and stuff like that. Okay. But anyway, I'm glad, and I have to say, it's not coming from a racism thing. I'm glad that we are overcoming that and, and people are, you know, falling in love and becoming a family regardless of the race. But I just want you guys to understand what some people are still feeling, all right, right now today. 
All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. All right. Make sure you comment down below and like the video. Let me know what you feel about this relationship, guys. I'll see you soon.